So now we're going to go ahead and create a source in this video. And the first thing we have to do, obviously, we've set up everything that we need in order to access the Airbyte provider through Terraform. Now we're going to create that source. So what I'm going to do is append resource and I'm going to hit tab and it's going to give me the auto completion. But you're going to see that, you know, the resource right here, we're actually going to point to the actual Airbyte resource or the source type that we're going to want. From terraform and here we're going to give it a name so in this tutorial we're going to go and use the stripe source so i'm going to go airbyte underscore source and you can see that gives us a list here in the auto completion but the one we're going to want is stripe now we're going to obviously give it a name but this one we're going to say my underscore source underscore stripe now we can go ahead and fill out the information for this source and like i mentioned previously the terraform provider interacts with the api and so if we look at the api documentation you notice that when creating a source we're essentially filling out exactly what you see from within the Airbyte platform. And that's going to have to do with the individual information for this specific instance of Stripe, which I already have. Now, the first thing we're going to need is going to need our configuration object. And within the configuration object is where we give all the information that I just told you. So the first one we're going to give is going to be the source type. And for the source type, obviously, is going to be Stripe. Now, the next one is going to be the account ID. Now, the account ID is going to be obviously specific to your instance of Stripe. I already have one. So let me go ahead and grab the ID here and paste that in as my account ID. Now, keep in mind, I will list the documentation for all of the Airbyte provider down in the description below. But within that documentation, you'll be able to find all the required properties you have to fill out for each source or destination and, and as well as how they're nested from within the configuration object and how they should look as well as examples. So that's a great resource for you when using the Terraform provider here. The next one I'm going to need is going to be my client secret. Now, what I'm going to do is obviously just go ahead and paste it for the sake of this tutorial. We could put it in a variable here. You know what? Actually, we're going to put it in a variable. So we're going to create another variable uh, and we're going to name it Stripe underscore API uh, Stripe underscore key, actually, to keep it simple. Same thing. It's going to be a type of string and the default value is going to be this right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and blur that out, obviously, but that is going to be my stripe key. And what I can do here is say var dot stripe underscore key. And that's my client secret start date. I will go ahead and add that in here as well, since I already have it. This is going to be a formatted date for when we want to start it. Obviously, it's a little out of date year, but this is just an example here loopback window days i'm going to provide a zero and then the slice underscore range we're going to say 365 days now we can get out of the configuration object and add some simple data here the first one is going to be the name uh, the name of this source we're going to give as stripe and that's what we're going to see inside of airbyte the last one and the most important one here is going to be the workspace underscore id now this is going to be the workspace id of your personal instance of Airbyte, whether that be on Airbyte open source or Airbyte cloud. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go over to my individual workspace on Airbyte cloud. And you can see here after the workspaces section of the URL, we have a workspace ID. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is grab that ID, go back in here and I'm going to go into variables and create another variable for it. So I'm going to say variable uh, workspace underscore ID type is going to be a string again. And the default value is going to be that right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back and say var dot workspace underscore ID. And now we have a source ready to go. Uh, when I hit save, it's going to auto format just because that's the way that Terraform is going to want it. And so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is go say Terraform apply. And you can see that we've applied and we will be performing the following actions and by adding this source. And if I hit yes, we're going to go ahead and create that source. Now what I can go ahead and do just for the sake of this, I'm going to go ahead and refresh my instance of Airbyte Cloud, go to the sources, and you can see I have a new Stripe source with the name that I gave it, the account ID I gave it, the secret key I gave it, replication start date, loopback window, or the data request time, increment in days, and you can see that we filled it out all simply by providing it within the Terraform provider, which is then calling the API, create that source for me. So that is creating a source, again, very simple. It's, it's nice to not have to continuously like put in information here. Now, the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is create a destination in the next video. So stay tuned for that.